Hello lovely! This video is going to show you how to hang a ukulele up on the wall. I'm also going to cover some simple, common mistakes that people make to make sure you avoid those mistakes. This is going to free up a lot of space if you have an apartment or a small music studio. My recording studio can get pretty chaotic. There is so much. All my merch is in here. Uh, all these cases, half of my cases are in storage, but they really just take up so much space. Getting the instruments up on the wall is not only cute, but it's also very practical. It makes it easier to just pick up and play your instrument and practice and songwrite. It looks nice and organized. My name is Lucy and I'm a singer-songwriter living in Los Angeles. If you're new to the channel, help an indie artist out. Hit like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. I post new videos every Tuesday. I create videos about being a touring musician. I interview artists and creators, and I share my favorite ways to add color to your life. I have so many ukuleles. Today, I'm gonna to be hanging up two on the wall. First step is buying a wall mount. Now, there are a lot of DIY videos about how you can just take a hair tie and tie it to the neck of your ukulele and just put a nail on the wall and then hang it. So technically, yes, that it will hang on the wall. However, the back of your ukulele is gonna get scratched up because it's gonna be so close to the wall that anytime you pull it to take it off, it's gonna scratch. Plus, like, a hair tie is really, like, bouncy and elastic. It's gonna, like, push and pull and move around. And you don't want that for your precious ukulele. There's also people who say, I'll just tie a string around the neck and hang it from any kind of hook. Yes, you can technically do that. However, again, we want to take care of our instruments. We love our instruments. So simply hanging them from whatever you have lying around will get them off the floor, but it will not be a lasting relationship. What I recommend is actually buying a wall mount. There's a million different kinds of these, but they all have the same steps that I'm gonna go over. A wall mount, a little block of wood or material of that will go on the wall and we're just gonna screw it in. And that way, your instrument is gonna be off the wall, not banging against the wall and getting scratched up. It'll be nice and sturdy, you don't have to worry. You know, if there's an earthquake or something, I don't know where you live, but in California, that's Mind. This is going to be the best way to protect your instrument and it's going to look nice. You can buy these mounts pretty much anywhere. They're online, they're at your local guitar center. And on a side note, my credentials for making this video, I worked at Guitar Center Hollywood for a couple years and I hung up a lot of instruments. Most small music shops also have some kind of version of this. I just grabbed these online. You can get a ukulele wall mount hanger anywhere from 10 to $20. It's just about the materials that they're selling to you. The higher end is gonna be better materials, longer lasting. The cheaper side will just be like a cheaper type of wood or plastic. But anything in that range is really gonna be okay. I'm gonna do two today and they were $13 each. Just be sure to read the label when purchasing. A lot of times it will have ukulele and mandolin. So if you see mandolin first, Keep reading to make sure it also says ukulele. What you don't want to do is get a guitar hook, assuming that it will be fine. Even though some ukuleles, the tuning pegs will will stay on the guitar hook, it's not good, your ukulele is gonna go out of tune. You need something that properly fits a small stringed instrument. Look for a ukulele wall mount hanger. So step one is get your wall hanger. Step two is going to be deciding where you want to hang your ukulele. Things to consider, temperature, humidity, sunlight. You don't want to hang it in the window because sunlight can have adverse effects to your ukulele. You also don't want to hang it like right next to a heater or an air conditioning because wood is very sensitive. You want to put your ukulele somewhere where it's going to be easy to reach. Somewhere you don't have to get a step stool to go grab it because we want you to pick up your ukulele and play it and practice and songwrite and do all your ukulele things. So I recommend keeping it somewhere where you can reach it without having to jump or get down on the ground. A nice arm's length, maybe a little higher. This is the little corner where I play the ukulele the most. This is where I'm going to be putting the, I think here and here. I'm gonna need more coffee. Another thing to consider is the aesthetic of your space. Maybe you have a blank wall that could really use a little color pop if you have a colorful ukulele. If you always play your ukulele when you're lying in bed, then maybe you put it next to your bed so it's nice and handy. If you have a little music space, you wanna create a vibe, that's where you can put the ukulele. Once you've found your location, you can use painter's tape or really thin pencil mark to designate the area and have a friend hold up the ukulele for you. This is something I really recommend so that you can get a visual. We used painter's tape to mark the spot and then I went back with pencil and just drew a line right above the painter's tape. That's where the top of the mount will be. 
You can do this on your own too. Just use your phone camera or maybe a mirror so you can see what it would look like from further away. See how it looks just to get an idea before any screws go into the wall. This is basically gonna be a really cool room decoration, a very practical room decoration, but still it's gonna be a part of your space. So you wanna make sure that it's a good fit. This next part is optional, but I personally really want to decorate my wall hangers. I've decided to put my ukuleles on a white wall with white curtains, so I'm also going to be painting just the wooden area white to blend in more with my wall so that it looks really clean. If you would like to paint the wooden part, just avoid the holes and screws and anything that seems important to the process. <laughs> Won't be painting the handle, of course, because that would chip and look terrible and get probably get on my ukulele. Open this thing up. Be careful not to rip the back of the package, which will have the directions on it. I'll go over what each of the parts inside will be used for, but first we're gonna paint the wooden mount. Recycle. Adding a little customization to the wall hangers is going to make them blend in with my space way more. And this way you get to do some DIY crafting as well. I'm doing two coats of light paint and then I'm gonna let it dry for 30 minutes. All right, here's all the parts and pieces. It comes with a hanger, two screws, two anchors, which are optional. That's really just if your wall turns out to not have anything behind it. And then the two mounts, which are now white. You'll just need a screwdriver and a level to make sure that it's nice and straight. All right, here we go. So we line up the mount, the top of the mount, with the pencil mark or the painter's tape. We take one screw and we begin to turn it clockwise with our screwdriver to screw it directly into the wall. Now there should be a little bit of tension if there's not and your screw is going straight through that drywall, then you'll need to use the anchors and I'll link in the description how to use the anchors. Now you don't want to screw the screw completely in so that you can't move the mount. We actually just want to go almost to the end and then we're going to readjust and make sure it's lined up before we move on to the second screw. So you can see here I'm lining it up, making sure it can still move. And then my assistant here is going to hand me the level. Ahem, sir. Thank you, assistant. We just wanna make sure the top and the side are both level, making that right angle so that our ukulele hangs straight down. Then hold it in place and finish tightening the first screw all the way. Next, we take our second screw and we screw this into the hole on the very bottom. The middle hole is actually for the hanger, which is going to be our last step. So once you have the top and bottom both screwed in securely, you're gonna take your hanger and you're gonna put it in that center hole. You're gonna twist it clockwise. You want it to be secure, but not too tight. And you're done. Let's check it out, put the ukulele on. It works, it's beautiful. Okay, so I still have another one to do, so allow me to recap what we just did. We line up the mount with our pencil mark. We start with one screw on the top, almost secure, a little wiggly wobbly, and then we get our level, make sure it's nice and straight. And then we move on to the second screw, which is on the very bottom. Screw it in. Beautiful. Keep going. You're doing great. And then next, we're going to add the hanger into the center. Now, my hanger actually came apart, and I wasn't sure if it was supposed to do that. I thought maybe you're supposed to twist the middle piece, but you're not. It's just the hanger that needs to twist. So twist the hanger to the right. Make sure it is secure, but not overly tight and that'll just give it a little bit of give when you place the ukulele on the hanger. Ta-da! It's got space behind it so it doesn't scratch. It's got a cool shadow. And let's see the final look. We did it! Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe below. It helps me out quite a bit. If you're looking for some new ukulele pop songs in your life, you can check out my original music. I'll link it here and let me know what you think. A few life updates for those of you who are fans of my music and just watching my how-tos because you're wonderful. Um, things are good. It's been a long year. I got a dog and I gave a TED talk. It's all about songwriting and uh, mental health and I hope you watch it and I hope you like it. It's been, you know, it's just been a weird, a weird year and I'm grateful to be here and I'm so grateful to all of you for returning and, you know, being my friend in the comments and sharing messages and just being a part of my community. It means the world, especially as we're going into the holidays, which can be really a hard time. Um, so thank you. So handy. I hope to be touring more next year and I'll continue to be writing and releasing songs. I'm really excited to share this next chapter with you all. 
And special thanks to my Patreon members who have been there with me once a month this year as I play my acoustic concerts and we have our private hangout sessions. You guys are the best and you mean the world to me. Good. So helpful. See you next time.